that crazy homeless man that's yelling that he's Jesus. He very well could be Jesus. This was a social experiment to see how people would react to a crazy homeless man claiming he's Jesus actually performing a miracle. I wasn't actually claiming to be Jesus, I was merely an actor, just as many people have acted and portrayed Jesus and Moses and other prophets on television. So I did this because I've seen many homeless people who probably part of the reason why they're homeless is because they honestly believe that they are Jesus Christ. So I wanted to see how people would react if uh, this crazy homeless man actually performed a miracle that you know Jesus might have performed. So I just moved to New York City and I see many homeless people that kind of freak out in the subways and I've met many homeless people in my life who think that they're Jesus. Uh, this is kind of a common archetype that people see frequently. So I wanted to portray this and just see how people react. And you've seen this video, some people, many people are scared. They don't know how to react. They're seeing something that is physically impossible and they are freaking out about it. Some people could see through it and, you know, I took off my mask at the end and people laughed and thought it was funny, uh, wanted to get my picture. Uh, you know, I said funny, weird stuff, like I said. Um, and, you know, this stuff should make it obvious in the end that it was a joke. Um, you know, I wasn't actually trying to start a cult and if I was trying to be a cult leader, a guru, start a religion, I wouldn't have called myself Special Head, right? I would have called myself some guru name like Yogi Baba, something like that. So in the description of this video, I'm, I'm posing this question and here's, here's where the, the philosophy comes into it. Um, the one, this is my belief and this is my based on my belief of my independent investigation of the truth that the one thing that all prophets have in common Moses, Krishna, Zoroaster, Muhammad, Jesus Christ, Buddha, um, Baha'u'llah the one thing they all have in common is from the time that they're small children they have divine enlightenment they have complete knowledge of the physical universe and in fact their teachers are casting them out of the classroom saying this child is undermining my authority because this child is knows more than I know this child is teaching the class and I I can't you know so they cast him out of the classroom so think about it if the one thing that all the prophets have in common is divine knowledge is complete knowledge of the physical universe and you're talking of people 2,000 3,000 years ago think about it Jesus with complete knowledge of physics could have figured out how to harness the powers of physics to walk on water to achieve the miracles that he achieved. And see, it appears to be a miracle to those people way back then because they have no foundation of, phys of understanding of science to begin to understand the feats that Jesus created. You see, I was raised Baha'i and the prophet Baha'u'llah said that his miracles, the miracles that he performed, should not be the foundation, the basis for qualifying their belief in him as a prophet. The people shouldn't that as time progresses, as humanity progresses, and as humanity's knowledge of the physical universe progresses, that their need to see miracles before their eyes should be less and less important. Because as they become more and more educated, their ability to use their intellect, their, their reasoning, their intelligence to discern whether or not somebody's a prophet becomes what's important. And as they, so it's very important that you use your heart, that you actually research for yourself because you're smart, because you're educated, because you can read and read and go to a library. You research spiritual teachings for yourself and you use your heart and your head, your intellect, to determine whether or not that belief speaks to you, whether or not that uh, enkindles the inner spirit inside of you. This is called independent investigation of the truth and it's a Baha'i principle. This really awesome religion I was raised, you can see in the description. Uh, I'm not trying to start a cult. I'm not trying to, you know, create a religion or anything like this. Obviously, I wouldn't go by the name Special Head if I was trying to do this. Um, I'm merely 
want to elevate the consciousness of the world. I want to bring the world a little bit closer to world peace through my performances. I want to be a good role model for future generations. I want to inspire future generations. And I want to inspire people to go on a spiritual path, to uncover their own beliefs, to believe in something for the sake of believing because it's better to believe than to not believe. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. As Matthew Silver said, and this is also my mission, I want to make the whole world laugh as an action of peace. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of my world, and I do read most of the comments, although I do get busy sometimes. Um, so thank you for interacting with me. If you want to comment below of things that you want to see me do in the future, any ideas, I love interacting with you guys. Thank you.